Hello students, standard 7th, chapter number 6, the triangle and its properties. In last session we learned about the two types of triangles, special triangles like equilateral triangle and isosceles triangle. The triangle in which all the sides are of equal length is known as equilateral triangle. And we also saw that the properties are the equilateral triangle has all equal sides and its all angles are also same of 60 degree. Then Isosceles triangle means the triangle in which two sides are of equal length. Then it is isosceles, but uh, in which also we saw the property that in isosceles triangle the two base angles which are opposite to their equal sides also have equal measure. And previously we learned some other properties like angle sum property, exterior angle property. Using all this knowledge, now we are going to do the try this. In which some figures are given in which one of the angle is marked by X and we have to find the angle X. Let's see the first First figure is in which here this sign shows that two sides are equal and one of the base angle is given 40 degree. Another base angle we have to find. So now here it is Here it is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, its base angles are equal. Therefore, easily you can find the value of x because those two sides are equal. So angles opposite to them are equal, it means x is equal to 40 degree. Second, here two sides are equal, this x and this angle is 45 degree. Now, let us mark this one angle as angle 1. So here it is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, angle 1 and angle 4, 45 are equal. So angle 1 is equal to 45 degrees. So now by angle sum property angle 1 plus x plus 45 is equal to 180 degree. But 1 is 45. So 45 degree plus x plus 45 degree. So x plus 90 degree is 180 degree. So now x is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree. So here 
the value of x is 90 degree. Third figure. In third figure, the top angle is 50 degree. The two sides are equal. And this angle is x. So here you can see that it is an isosceles triangle. So the angles opposite to the equal sides are equal. So here it is isosceles triangle. Therefore, the angles opposite. Two equal sides are equal, and therefore x is equal to 50 degree because the two sides are equal, so angle opposite to them are equal. So x and 50, so x is equal to 50 degree. Fourth one. In fourth, the top angle is 100 degree. Thus, two sides are equal. And this angle is x. So now here, we have to use the angle sum property again. Let's take that one as y. So here, angle x or x is equal to y. Yes, it is an isosceles triangle. So now, by angle sum property, Angle means x plus y plus 100 is equal to 180. So x plus x plus 100 is equal to 180 because x is equal to y. So 2x plus 100 is equal to 180 degree. So now 2x is equal to 180 degree minus 100 degree. So 2x is equal to 80 degree because 180 minus 100 is 80. So x is equal to 80 by 2. So x is equal to 40 degree. Now here fifth and sixth are very simple. So you can do it yourself. But in 7, there is exterior angle. So let's do the 7th one. Here, these two sides are equal. X is here and the exterior angle is 120 degree. So now, we know that in X, uh, isosceles triangle, the angles opposite to X, the equal sides are equal. And therefore, here you will see that this angle 1 will be same as the angle X. So we will write down here. Angle 1 is equal to x as the angles opposite to equal sides are equal, are of equal measure.
So now, angle 1 plus 120 degree is equal to 180 degree because they are linear pair. We know that the exterior angle makes linear pair with this angle, base angle. So now angle 1 is x, therefore x plus 120 is equal to 180 degree and therefore x is equal to 180 degree minus 120 degree so value of x is equal to 60 degree so here because these two sides are equal the base angles are equal so x is equal to 1 and now one is making linear pair with the exterior angle and therefore sum of them is 180 degree so what angle one is x so x plus 120 is equal to 180 degree let's take the eighth one here also exterior angle but it is on the top and that is 110 degree those two sides are equal and this angle is x so let us mark this angle as 1 so now here Angle 1 is equal to x as they are base angles of isosceles triangle. Now here we can use angle sum property also because this angle, I mean exterior angle exterior angle property the exterior angle is sum of its interior opposite angles now x uh, angle 1 plus x is equal to 110 degree by exterior angle property we know that the exterior angle is equal to sum of its interior opposite angles so now angle 1 is x so x plus x is 110 so 2x is equal to 110 so x is equal to 55 then the ninth one Here, little different. Here, the angle here outside is given as 30 degree and thus two sides are equal and the top angle we have to find which is x so now here I will take angle 1 You can see that angle 1 is making pair of which angles? Vertically opposite angles. Here angle 1 is equal to 30 degree as they are 
vertically opposite angles you learn in the previous chapter that when the two lines cross then those two angles are of the same size because they are called vertically opposite angles and now angle 1 is equal to angle x as they are angles of angles opposite to equal sides it means that angle x and y are equal but one is 30 therefore x is equal to 30 degree so here we are going to finish the session and a question 2 also very simple you can use the same categories criteria to find out so we are going to finish the session will be followed by the pdf and that you have to write down and any problem comment section there thank you very much